Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice, brisk 44 degree morning this morning. I don't know if you can see it on camera, probably not, but I can see my breath. <laughs> Makes me look like a fool when I try to do that on camera and then it doesn't show up on camera. Oh, I can tell the animals, is, I can tell the goats are still in heat. You can hear Zeke this morning. <sighs> we got our gravel ordered for the barn. It's supposed to show up today. I'm not sure what time it's gonna show up, so hopefully it shows up early. Come on, ladies, moose. The Bard Rocks pin feathers are starting to come in a lot nicer now. Where's the other one that was molting? Oh, she's right back there. She's Her feathers are starting to come in nicely too. Glad to see that their feathers are starting to grow back. I didn't want them to have to have no feathers in the middle of winter. That's not any fun. So we have two loads of gravel ordered. Not sure exactly what time it's gonna show up, but the earlier is always the better. Good morning, chickens. I just got a text from the gravel place. It should be here in about an hour, the first load, so perfect timing. We are late, I guess. The chickens are even telling us, hey, where's breakfast? Figaro must have had a long night last night because he's still in the house this morning sleeping. He didn't want to come out. I wish he could have a night vision GoPro and strap it on Figaro to see what he does all night long. That'd probably be pretty interesting, don't you think? Yeah. to go out. You can't see the boys though. I know you want to. Next month. Next time you go into heat. Come on ladies. Maybe, just maybe, it'll start getting quiet around the homestead today. Don't say that too loud though. Hear that? Exactly, it's nice. Is Willow still in heat? Well, so far she's been great, but. So maybe she's on her way. Say Don't say nothing, that's what I was saying earlier. Just got done eating breakfast and I hear the dump truck coming. So we have to get down here and show them where we want to dump the gravel. Hope I don't got any yolk on my face. I didn't have a chance to get it cleaned off.
Well, that's one load of gravel. One more coming still. I'll be able to get this in the barn and then finish grading off out front so we won't have any puddles. That means we got our work cut out in front of us before we can start using that gravel. So I'm thinking if we have them dump the other load right here, it'll block off this doorway a little bit, but we can still bring the gravel in here and start working our way this way and working this way and then work our way out. Today should be the last day of putting up batten strips. Okay, get ready to fill it up. <laughs> On the side batten strips, I was really concerned about the batten strips coming down, covering the, the cracks, the splits, and then coming down to the lower one matching up, and then those ones filling the crack between the two boards. But on the backs, what I, we can do is we can set our first one or two, get them level, and then we should be able to just make a spacer. So what do we, nine and 15 sixteenths, nine and five eighths, so that's 10. So these ones are a little, you know, they're not all the same width because I wanted to make sure they were level and we had different width gaps here because we had to make sure all of our boards matched and lined up. So the, the spacing here is not all exact. It's off like a quarter of an inch here and there. But on the back, I'll be able to make it all the same. So once we get one up and leveled, I can make a spacer and just go to town. So maybe if I pick 10, That'll work. That's nine and three quarters. Let's see. Maybe we'll just get the first one up and then check it out. Get the first one. So it'd be ten. I'm thinking ten might work. Well, let's get this first one up. Our first two. We'll get this one up, this one, and then we'll figure out our spacing. And I can make some spacers. Me and Gina can just knock this out. You're probably getting just as bored of the batten strips as we are. It'll be nice to have them done and be moving on to the next part. Luckily, as long as somebody doesn't shoot themselves with a nail gun or for some unforeseen reason like that, today should be the last day. All right, let's get this one up. So I'm thinking. I have to do these by myself and then you can. Well, the I, gravel, and it doesn't matter if it's level because it's so back. It's I'm just <laughs> it does matter if it's level, but let me get, I can get this set up and we'll get a jig. And oh, then that's once, what we did do last time. Yes. Yeah. But we couldn't do the jigs on the side because we wanted to make sure the up and down, they matched the whole way. Yeah. But the other thing, the, the roof dripping. It is dripping. All right. We'll use some of our kindling for our jigs. Just don't touch the trigger like I did. I won't handle it as well as you. Uh. I didn't have a fear of it before. You think it's crooked? No, it looks good. <laughs> that hurt your fingers? Yeah. It got you. I wasn't expecting that to happen. I don't know why, but.
My least favorite job of any project, the cleanup. Luckily, it's not too messy. We've been keeping it pretty well picked up. We just got a lot of firewood scraps. We got to organize a little bit better. Have to return the stage in next. We're all done with that. Right here, the dump truck now. As long as all my math is right, that should be as that should be more than enough to finish the inside and then taper off and smooth everything out out here so we can get rid of these puddles. Your gravel's here. I'll get you your shovel and your wheelbarrow. You can start spreading it in the barn. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I get the pack here. What? It's broken. This thing from the ground up out of nothing No flight plan, no manual to be found You and I, we're driving in the dark Without headlights Trying to find our way It's hard telling where we'll be In the coming days I'll be there with you It's hard telling where we'll be in the coming days I'll be there with you I'll be here with you I don't think this one will be able to use our jig either almost done. You were doing good, but so good. when you're working with rough sawn lumber, it's not all the same widths. Yeah, I think part of it though is because of the rafters. Right, and the rafter tails got in your way and stopped messing you up. And yeah, That's really what happened. Put them right in your way. Mm -hmm.
we got it. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, it feels good to have the last batten strip up and cut. Uh, that's quite a few batten strips on this building. and use our little handy dandy kindling maker we got live right here. Plenty of kindling for this season. You haven't seen this side finished yet, have you? I haven't been over here. I haven't had to come this far over because we don't have any pigs. No, we don't walk over well, this actually, way. Did, when did you have it done? I just did it yesterday. Oh, right. So, no, I have not. Yeah, but if you did, I didn't notice it before because I didn't pay attention. Now we just got to make doors and finish the other custom part for this part of the barn when we're ready. Yeah, we just want to get it. We just to right now. Right, now we just need to get it so we can get the gravel in there, get it so we can use it for storage before snow falls, <laughs> get all this cleaned up, and then winter projects we could be working on, the barn doors and the interior wall and the stalls and stuff. That's a good inside project. We got a good load of kindling. You playing King of the Mountain or what, mister? This chick has already beat you. Look away. I already saw a chicken turd up there. He likes your boot prints. <laughs> you think Maggie's in heat now? Yeah. Oh my goodness. They're all going into heat, huh? Yep. And then when they're in heat, they always like stand, like they stand on top of something and go... <laughs> Maggie, you could at least make a better noise than that. Yeah, it sounds like she has a head stuck in something. Here comes the guts! I mean, Ivy had a finisher to see. How many eggs do you think today? Mm, nine. Nine? Yeah. One. Three, five, seven, and we had a broken one. Olivia's chickens made up for it today. They just laid us eight. Man, they got some beautiful colors for eggs.
So I'm gonna make a garlic butter mushroom pork chops tonight. So, I'm gonna peel my mushroom. Half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and it calls for smoked paprika, but I don't have that, and I, we prefer regular paprika. I'm just gonna get that stirred in here, just saute this stuff all up, and then in a minute or so, I'm going to add some chicken broth in here. Add a quarter cup of chicken broth and just get all those yummy everything cooking get that all in the mushroom and garlic make like a little just get all those bits off the pan now I'm gonna melt the remaining butter in here Two tablespoons. Melt this in my pan. And then we're going to add the pork chops back in and let it all combine for a couple minutes. Oh, the big pork chop. Took a long time to cook. Hold on to your... 
that mushroom garlic glaze is delicious so good and to have some fresh pork chops from our pigs this year even better it feels good to have all of the batten strips done on the post and beam barn now it's time to get the gravel floor in and then at some point we can do some custom work for the barn stalls but it's going to feel nice just to have storage to keep everything in through the winter time i bet you the kubota is going to love being parked under a roof for the winter thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us you guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead if you're not already subscribed to the channel now's a great time to hit the subscribe button turn on notifications and give the video a like we'll see you guys right back here in the next video